Yo, 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 what is going on, guys? It's your boy Lift Fishing Live here, bringing you another lifting episode today. Today, we got squats and something else. So, get ready. They're gonna be good. Probably ain't gonna make it past 275. I'm just trying to make sure that my technique's okay before I start putting on, you know, stuff that starts with a three, anything in those range, maybe a four, someday, someday. Uh, it's crazy, right? Life's crazy. Life's been good to me today. Uh, been for some reason hitting it a little later today. Uh, it's just been a busy morning. Went to school, did a lab, and then went to the grocery store twice because I went to go get something for myself and I realized I forgot something, so I had to go back. And then we got some food. So, you know, eh, I kind of feel bad about, I got Chick-fil-A earlier. I kind of feel bad about that. It wasn't a very good financial decision. I was $13 down the tube because my order is always $13. Well, it used to be like 11, but then they upped the prices. I used to work at Chick-fil-A. Long story, crazy. There's a sun right behind me telling me to just shut up and get on with the lifting. Alrighty guys, another good day in the gym. Like I said, I'm recording these. This was actually my Tuesday's workout and I'm recording the audio right now on Wednesday because I'm big behind. So yeah, if it's a little lackluster, you know why. It's because I'm trying to get all of these videos done so I don't have to worry about them anymore. Anyway. As you can see, I'm doing some squats today, and I'm also doing some overhead press. Uh, today was a really fun day. There was a few technical issues that I'm going to try and work out here soon with the squat. Uh, yeah, I believe I was doing squats and pull-ups, supersetting squats with pull-ups. So, yeah, but and, and there's also some technical issues even with my pull-ups that are kind of kind of lame. I, it seems that whenever I do pull-ups, I don't pull very evenly. So I've been, I was working on that in specific this day that I could pull evenly with both arms at once. So I think I did better today, but I've noticed in some of my footage from the past that I wasn't pulling very evenly. Obviously here we got 275 on the bar. I think all of these reps went fairly smoothly. I think they went smooth as far as the way my technique normally looks. It was only in the next set where the reps started getting a little iffier. And like my dude to to the side of me, Kashami, he um he's actually helped me with my squat technique before. I think at the end of the day what he was noticing uh was just due to my femurs being long or just my legs being longer. I'm just a longer dude squatting in general. But the thing is, is I was focusing also on pushing hard with my quads and not just letting my hamstrings and glutes completely take over the squat, even though, you know, it was still very hamstring and glute dominant. Um, I was trying to make sure that it wasn't just hamstrings and glutes that were doing that work because you have to have a full spread uh, with the with the squat if you want to get the most out of it. And as you can see here on these pull-ups here, I'm kind of swaying too. And I don't understand why I'm swaying. That's kind of, I don't like that. It feels like I'm swaying because I'm not staying tight enough. My lats aren't tight enough. So it's probably the issue. Anyway, we got 295 on the bar here. And this is actually where I somewhat noticed uh, a, an issue. It was on the fourth rep. I think I just, I did indeed just take this for four. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to keep it nice and light and, uh, while I work on my technique, but I still wanted to overload a little bit. It didn't seem to be the right call uh, to just go ahead and start overloading. See, as you can see on that rep, hips rise pretty quick. 
and really on this last rep it's pretty dang noticeable hips rise a lot faster than uh than they normally do not to say that the reps were slow because they were actually really really fast by any measure uh so i was having some technical issues here i have my boy maddie g over there um i just said hey bro can you just record this and he said yes so he saved me got my boy ivan back there too so big appreciate that matt uh maybe i'll link him this video and he'll realize that he was in it but yeah um it was a good day though <sighs> nothing too special so uh i'm actually so out of things to talk about today really just because normally what i'll do is i'll kind of have a good plan on what i want to talk about in these videos but since i'm doing so many in one day it's kind of a lot harder um it's a lot harder to figure out what uh, to talk about, but anyway, these overhead press, the overhead press actually moved really well today. I think, uh, I, I was doing real strict long pauses at the bottom today, and this was 155 right here, and it moved very well too. I'm still so much enjoying this training, the way I've been training lately, with the supersets, and then, like, basically two compound movements a day, and one accessory, and I superset, I did a compound and accessory, and then I'll single out the other one. Like, for example, today I actually did bench, deadlift, superset, and then um, I did rows as my accessory uh, today, not the day that this was recorded. This is actually OHP, overhead press, is my thing that I did uh, that wasn't a superset. And the things that I do that's not a superset, I can kind of go a little heavier on them. So as you can see here, I think I got 165 on the bar. And this is probably a PR for pausing every single rep. Because it's pretty hard to pause every single rep. But that it felt really, really tough, I'm not going to lie. Last things last is I did uh, 30 box jumps and I believe at this height it was it was tw maybe 25 inches at this height and I was trying to land them with a straight leg just to get that power going so I was as I was watching the videos I was noticing how much I was throwing my hands into the movement and getting all that momentum going uh, you know there's nothing wrong with that per se but down the road I do uh, stop that to see what differences it makes. It actually makes quite a bit of difference. It probably makes about four to six inches of difference, uh, just that momentum that I get from swinging my arms up really, really quick. Shout out to Lisa in the background. The best baby in the whole entire world is doing great today. She's looking very precious. She is looking like a movie star. TBH. She's looking like an absolute movie star. So... Um, I, now nah, it wasn't this set that I was like, nah, I'm going to chill with my arms. I think it was actually the next set. But on the last set, I upped the, I upped the, I upped the height just because I was only doing six reps because in reality I only had to do 30 reps total. So, yep, up the height. Just, uh, to account for that less repetitions. So anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and share the verse of the day today. Uh, see, I'm looking for it right now. How about Job chapter 10 verse 7? Thou knowest that I am not wicked and there is no one that can deliver, that can deliver me out of thine hand. Job here is talking to God and he's saying, God, you know I'm not wicked. So why are you why are you treating me as though I'm wicked? The story of Job, kind of have to just look into it, but basically uh, God is testing Job through Satan to see if Job will falter and Job never does as you can see right there. It's just an inspiring verse because Job 
you know, he never did falter at the end of the day. He was questioning God, and God did not like that, but still, at the end of the day, he had his, his integrity and his pride, which, you know, pride is not necessarily a good thing, but he definitely kept his integrity, too. Anyway, guys, I love y'all. I wish y'all the best. Hopefully, this video comes out smoothly. Peace.